we're looking at a nodal ninja pano head and this is one of the approved pano heads that you can actually use to shoot um, panos for the Google business view uh, when the business is listed on Google and then you have a little link that says see inside you have to shoot panorama photos and they have to be stitched together and so forth and, and this is the pano head or one of the pano heads that you can use for that task it was the only one that wasn't sold out the time that I ordered it this is for a Sigma lens 8 millimeter Sigma lens that's made to go on my Nikon I'm going to use my D700 to shoot the photos and it seems to be a well-made piece it's a little bit tricky to put it on the instructions that came with it are a little bit dicey and it actually says that there's a uh, autofocus manual focus switch on my lens which on my particular lens there is not so not sure about that but of course I can set the camera to manual exposure uh, and 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 do it anyway but there is no switch on the lens and this is the other piece that, that comes with it that actually hooks on to the tripod and then you turn that 90 degrees for each series of photos seems to be pretty well made seems to be relatively easy to use once you get it set up it is a little bit tricky to set it up but um, seems to be a pretty good solution and again it was the only one that wasn't sold out of the ones that there that were uh, available on the list that approved list and it comes with some instructions <clears throat> of course in various languages and so forth and again the instructions are a little bit confusing and I just kind of like felt my way through it and, and I think I got it set up right I'm going to show you some photos at the end you can take a look at and those of you that might be uh, at a higher level of expertise than me when it comes to panos I'm brand new to all of this maybe you can comment on the setup and whether or not I got it right or not it's kind of neat they come with a little microfiber cloth here those are always nice to have around handy little items so here it is set up on the tripod and I have it on my lighter weight enduro tripod in these photos and I quickly found out that I needed to use my heavier weight tripod because that ball head was not supporting the weight good enough it was coming loose too easily so I did move it over to the the heavier tripod and also the bubble level doesn't seem to stay level when you rotate all the way around I've seen some other videos on the web that say the same thing so I'm not sure how much that's going to affect the quality of the the panos so anyway share your comments I just figured I'd put this up because there's not a lot of videos on this unit up so let me know let me know what solution that you use for panos and let me know if I've got this set up properly on my Nikon camera and be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.